right, you guys, so I'm back. It's been about a week, and right now I'm going to go pick up this goddamn uh, Hellcat hood for my car. And then what I'm going to do now is when I get back to my hometown, I'm going to switch out my, uh, I'm going to switch out the tires off my factories and put them on my new, my new rims. I'm going to save myself some money because those tires anyways are brand new. I think they only have about like, I think about like a thousand miles if I'm not mistaken. And, um, I'm going to swap them out. And then for the summertime, I'm going to do all fours. So, uh, so yeah. See you guys in a bit. So I'm back, it's dark out, put them in. So these rims are 20, what's it, eight and a half, right? These, eight and a half? Yeah, these are eight and a half, these are nine and a half. So they made the tire, this tire wide. So, I mean, it looks all right to me, but I look like I'm driving an actual fucking, uh, um, like a Honda or something with the tire. Look at that, look, look how wide them things are, bro. Oh, uh, golly. But anywho, I'm in a balance. They fit just fine. Um, I got the I got the new spindle. So if you guys don't know what a spindle is, it's this right here. As you guys can see the marks, look at that. It was rubbing on the other t on the ten and a half. So I'm gonna replace these with the Hellcat ones that I got in in my uh, in the car, and uh, replace those and put the Brembo's on to replace these and the rotors as well. So the caliper and the rotor. So that's uh, another project though. But I do got the hood, but uh, I'm gonna get the hood worked on and all that so it looks nice on the car. And yeah, you guys should see the back of that. Look, that thing looks like a monster. Look at that. Hey. So give us a sec and then when we get done, we'll put them on them. We'll see what we're gonna do with this. Hopefully it doesn't hit. All right, so look, they came out okay. They stick out a bit further out than the back but it's all right for right now. So, as you can see, but it is what it is. I'm gonna get new tires for it anyways. But yeah, so stay tuned over there for the next video that I'm gonna have. Thank you.
stay tuned for the next video I'm gonna have and all that. And uh, yeah, I wanna do some more crazy stuff. I got that that hood, so I gotta go get it repaired and all that. So uh, stay tuned, you guys. Later. All right, you guys. So bargain for my uh, late video, but. Tires are meaty as hell. Look at that. I love it. I think it look crazy as hell. But not as crazy as my brother's car. Look at my brother's car. Stop on me. Hey. Look at my brother's car. Stop playing. That's Scott. Look at that. Follow him on IG. Stop playing. My brother lowered it. It says that the But other than that, though, his car looks dope as hell. And he just got his windows done too on his car. Look at that. Dark as hell. I'm like, what does what do cops always say? Fucking tent. Hey. Anywho, let's get to my car. Several days later. 
And uh, we're about to get this cold start done on this car. I haven't driven in like in the last three days. So it's been snowing like it is right now. And uh, yeah, let's get this, let's get this baby started. Um, well, they didn't come with the rim. Um, I had them. I'm going to change those and I'm going to put something different on. Um, but it's still going to be black. But I'm definitely going to change these caps because these things look cheap as hell. But um, I do like the all season tires. As you see, it's just 75 40 20s. I am going to change those up for uh, the summertime. But I mean, other than that, they look alright. The only thing I got to do now is really um, change the spindles on the front end. I'm going to change the spindle in the front end um, so I can put the Brembo brakes on. And then um, I'm going to look for the ones for the back too because the ones for the back I'm not too worried about for right, the meantime, for right now. But I'm definitely going to put the Brembo brakes up front because that's where all my that's what I'm using the most um, the most brake. So, um, today I'm gonna just, today I got a couple things to do. Um, so I'm gonna tell you a couple things right now because it started snowing a few days ago. Um, the car did okay. It didn't do too bad. It didn't do too bad in the, um, in the snow. The snow in certain places it didn't stick and other places it didn't. But um it did alright. You know what I'm saying? Um I had to uh I had to um turn down the pedal box and put it on the eco just because I really don't need to be using so much power. Um not power, you might well, yeah, you might as well just say power. Um on the car when I'm driving, so it did it did good when it, when I did that, you know what I'm saying? And then um, I did um, I did one on Top Gun, which is all the way up. I turned it up all the way, and then I did my. Uh, damn, you can't really see my my eyes. There you go. And then um, I did one with uh, Eco, and Eco did really really good. So, but again, we're talking about a whole, you know, rear wheel drive car. Um, but me, I do love my all wheel drives, but rear wheel drive is, is the best. I mean, to me it is. I mean, I know some of you guys have, you know, your opinion of you liking either a rear wheel, front wheel or all wheel drive car. Um, so, um, so yeah, and I, you know, I gotta get, I gotta get on the shoulder. Everything goes downhill for me. 
but um, I was trying to look for, try to buy a beater, but I cannot find one. So, uh, people are asking for way too much money for these beaters. They already have like 200,000 miles on them. They, they want like three, 4,000 for it. I'm like, nah, you good. Oh, I better call me, sorry. Um, but I'm, I'm not gonna do it. I'm not spending two, three grand on a damn beater. I give you 800, 900 to like almost a grand spending no three four five grand on no damn beater you bugging um i don't care what type of work you did with it i don't care if you did motor work i don't care if you put new tires i don't care if you put new rims none of that i don't care bruh why is everybody slowing down for it? oh it's a cop hey my radar didn't even go off oh he probably has his radar off oh he put somebody over Oh, uh, white pulled over. White pulled over. He pulled over a yellow Mustang. Oh, oh they got a flat tire. That's why. Oh, okay, that's why. Got it. Say less. Um, but yeah, man. I'm right now. I'm about to go over to my brother's job to go get these um, caps for my uh, caps for my car. Um, I am going to be buying um, red and black ones for the Dodge symbol. Um, but for right now, I'm gonna take these off and put the ones that my brother is gonna. That's my blah, 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 that my brother is gonna give me. And um, and yeah, man, I'm just gonna you know just go with it today. Cause today I got work, man. It's, it's gonna be a long one. I got a 12-hour shift. These shifts don't. It, it's no joke. The only reason why I'm doing what I'm doing is for you know, like I said, like I said before, my other channel, I'm in, in my channel, in this channel, Jesus. I, you know, I work really hard to, for me to get what I want. You know what I'm saying? My car, um, my car, me paying my house, um, my kids. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, this, this is just how I grind. Um, I am trying to also do like because I like me, I'm a game freak. Um, I love my anime. I love my like um, my uh, PlayStation and all that. You know, so like I, I do a whole bunch of stuff, you feel me? So um I'm always busy, but this is what I really wanna do is do my YouTube, my Instagram, uh, my TikTok, and I'm also gonna do my Facebook and I'm gonna be selling some merchants pretty soon. So hopefully you guys do like it. Please give me a like on it or a dislike. I don't give a damn. I just want your your opinion on on my merch that I'm going that's right now in the process of getting made. Um, it's taking a bit just because the person that I that um, it got sent to, she does work as well. So she does what she does on the side um, with shirts. And um, I want to, now this one wants to go off. So um, hopefully when this gets done, this shirt looks really, you know, badass. But I'm almost at my brother's job. Um, I'm literally like a block away. I was going to pause it actually no i'm gonna pause it right now and then once i go around then i'm gonna um i'm gonna hit that thing all right yeah yeah brother's car right there stop playing bro look at my brother's car hold on i gotta i gotta have a side by side oh i'm about to park right behind him too hey Look at that, brother to brother. Look at that. Stop playing. I don't know what it is in my brother's car that like really gets my attention, bro. Like, I like the hood. I mean, not the hood. 
I like the bumper. I like the little, you know, snorkels and all that stuff. You know what I'm saying? My car, my car just looks plain. Look at that. So lonely back there, bro. That's all right, though. Pretty soon I'll be looking like my brother's car. Somewhat. Just different color. Yeah, let's go see my brother real quick. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I'm blind as hell. Leave me alone for the day. Oh my god. Look at this 392 Durango. Stop playing with it. Huh? Look at that. How much is this thing going for? Boy. Hell to the mall. This thing does look badass though. Look at this. Yay. Oh my god. This thing looks dope. I love the color. Anywho, let's get to my brother. Ooh, look at that. So my brother said he did the carbon fiber. Oh, wait, this one's chipped a little bit, but it's all right, though. I don't care. Look at that. Boy. I like these. See my Corona feet? Hey, that Corona. I think they fixed it. Okay. What do you guys think about my brother putting these tires on his Scott going on a drag race? Stop playing. You working today? No, this is just this is a ghost you see in front of you. This guy. Hey. <laughs> Look at that. They look a little, a little bit better. I only did the one side. Yeah. All right, so I'm doing the other side. Look at that. That looks crazy. Yeah, so see. They look better now with those. I love the way I look. I really like the like my brother's SRT ones. Cause they you see how that they come in red? They come in like they like they have the same ones like this with that same color red right in the middle, like those two strip ones. But look at this. Stop playing. My brother put them H and R's. Look how low that thing is. Thing is no joke. Go we'll follow my big brother right there, Big Fred 392. Hey. Look how dark the windows are, though. He was not playing. He did have different Brembo's on. They were black, but then he changed them to red. I'm gonna do the same thing with mine. I don't know, what you guys think? You think I should lower my car or just leave it the way how it is? Let me know, right down on the bottom, comment. My brother needs to put them, um, them uh, rain guards on his car too. That's what he needs to do. What y'all think? Y'all think my brother should just leave it like this? Or should he put them rain, the rain guards on? Stop playing that damn infinity. Look at that. That's how I want my car to be looking like. I think I'm gonna do the same thing. Change the bumper and all that. Change the front bumper. All right, let's go back. I'm getting cold. Hey, look at this guy right here, bro. Damn, they want, I'm gonna guess, that's the base price. So it looks like it has everything. So you're probably looking to make 49,000, almost 50, 12. Well, it'll probably be like 50, 52, 53,000. But look at this. Don't look bad at all. I do like the white, but I don't know. I love the hood. Love the hood. Hey. All right, you guys. So I'm at Gold Scene right now because um, my brother's here. And... Um, I had to come get them. I had to come and get the the caps for the car, and 
I love coming to this to this spot up here. As you guys can see, Dosine is in upstate New York and Latham. Um, so this Dosine is like the best the best spot to be at, um, just because it is a you know, I mean there's other Dodge dealership around here, but this is the only spot that I really will take my car to get service because they're always on their top game. So um, if you guys are in upstate New York and Latham or in Albany. It's literally like about like 10 minutes away. Um, come to your goal scene right here. Ask for Zach. He is the manager, one of the managers here. Um, and let him know what type of car you're looking for and all that. He will be more than happy to help you out um, for service. If you're looking to get your car worked on, um, you need the best service person. You can go to my big brother. His name is Freddie. Um, he will be more than happy to help you with anything. That you have other people here as well. You have Fred. Um, you have Megan, you have a whole bunch of other people here too that will be more than happy to help you. These guys here that take care of you like they're your family, like real talk, like no, like some Dominic Toretto BS. Like they will literally help you all day, every day here. Um, they don't take no BS. I've been to other Dodge dealerships where they, they'll try to clown you and I don't like that at all. Um, but other than that though, um, I love coming here. I love being here. I used to work here, not no more. Um, and yeah, as you guys can see, look, you got the sky right behind me. You feel me? Uh, um, what else? They don't got a whole bunch of other stuff or whatever here today because the whole situation with COVID. But as I can see back there, look, mine and my brother's car. They said that they're going to have some more cars coming up pretty soon. Um, they have a Durango SRT inside their garage. Uh, I think it got sold, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yeah, I don't see no other. I think they probably got them in the back. Usually they'll have like chargers, challengers, and all that in the back. But right now, um, I'm going to say bye to my brother because I got to go. I got to get some food and all that. I'm hungry. And I'm about to go and, uh, and go to sleep. Why well, am I even going to go to sleep? Because I got to work in a bit. But yeah. Let me say bye to him real quick. If I can find him, this guy's nowhere to be found. What, this guy's never at his desk. That's how you can tell my brother's always on the hustle. He always grinding for that money. And I'm not mad at him either. All right, let me check out here real quick. I see what, see that SRT right there? That thing is no joke, that Durango. Yay. What the hell is my brother? Oh my God. All right, let me get up out of here. I'm gonna see you later. Big yeah, yeah, always. Thanks for the caps again. No All right, y'all, so right now I'm about to leave. I'm leaving the mother to go get some in real quick if I go to work. Oh, um. This is another thing too. So, if like I said, if you guys are up in the, um, up at uh, upstate New York by Albany or Latham, um, and you guys want to stop over at Ghost Scene, you guys are looking for a car, um, hit up. I'm gonna see right here. Ah, I'm gonna take off his cell because I don't want to want to be. As for this guy right here, Derek. All right, so the number is, for the ghost scene is 518-785-4156. Eyes for him. Um, he's really good. Um, the only reason why I say it is because um, <clears throat> my godfather was, uh known him for years. Um, my godfather's not really too much of a Dodge person. He's more like a Ford or a Chevy. So... He didn't really get to buy a car from here, but, um, you know, him knowing him, uh, Derek and all that, he's been really good to, you know, to other people and all that stuff. So if anything, um, come up this way and uh, give a shout out to him, um, make an appointment or whatever, and, you know, you can get your car from here. But let's get on this road right now because I'm hungry and I want to just hurry up and go back home real quick, change my clothes and go to work. Yes, yeah, sir. Brother's job. I'm gonna 
going to McDonald's. I am pretty hungry. Um, I really don't like to get stuff from McDonald's because the last time I was over there um, at, at a McDonald's, um, they had a uh, they had mold um, on the bread, and that was nasty as hell. Bro. So, I would never again buy no type of burgers from them. I'm only gonna get the the uh, the chicken nuggets, but I hardly eat McDonald's like that anyway. So, if I'm a bit lazy, which I am today, I'm just gonna order something real quick. Then from the track, all he wanted to get a Cadillac. 
um, that from the Cadillac, he wanted a, I think he said a Durango, if I'm not mistaken. That from the Durango, and he said, oh, I might get a Ram. I might, I might stop my, um, the SRT life and then go with a Ram truck. And then he tried to play me to, just a little while ago. He said, yo, um, I just got this uh, SRT Durango. Well, you did not get that. Stop playing yourself, bro. You did not get no Durango. But my brother put too much work on his car for me to know that. I Like, for me to know that he's not going to get rid of it no time soon. Um, but my brother did put a lot of work into his car. He loves his car. You know, he babies his car and all that stuff. He washes it all the time and everything. Um, that thing always look nice as hell. The paint is looks like it's like it's just got sprayed on and all that like you feel me like it's it's crazy the way my brother's my brother's car looks every day me on the other hand i brought my car all chipped up and all that so certain spots in this car did get pretty messed up um it could have been from the last owner or it could have been when it was getting traveled it was getting um put it over from philly down this way when it was on the tow truck so um I'm not too worried about it because what I'm gonna do is I am gonna put a lot of work into it myself. So um, the the little you know the little spots that are scratched up and all that that's gonna get touched up. Um, they're gonna it's gonna get redone. Um, then the car's gonna get wrapped. Um, I don't know what should I do. I, I I was thinking about doing like a venom thing like the like the red symbiote. You shut up doing like the red symbiote but at the same time um there's no good spot out this world where they could do do that type of stuff so if i ever think about doing that i might take it on to houston where i do follow um hemi light 44 also i do follow um i follow living with mozzie i follow hemi white 44 um srt Bree. All those people, well, SRTB is not really, she don't really go down that way to, down to, um, to Texas. But um, all the other ones, Hemi Life, Hemi Wife, and Mozzie, they all live in Texas. Um, and, uh, in Houston, Texas, yeah. So, you know, I will have to get this car um, towed over there. And then I will have to be over there for a bit for me to get all this work done on the car and then me go pick it up over when I'm over there and then come back up this way. I'll have to get it towed back. So I'm probably looking like close to like 10 grand. Hopefully not. Um, especially to, to get it towed. That's, that's a lot of money. But even though that this car does have, right now it's at 70,000. I don't care about the mileage. I do put work into this car, so my my work on this car is just like um, you know me restoring everything back to the way how it was. Like I'm gonna replace. I just replaced a whole bunch of stuff on this car. So um, the tires, I did brake pads, rotors up front. I gotta do the rotors in the back. I did replace the brake pads in the back as well. Um, I'm gonna replace the coolant housing unit i'm going to replace the um the pistons i'm going to replace the uh, the radiator i'm going to replace the alternator i'm going to replace the battery um shock struts i am going to lower it i'm going to put hnr i might lower it who knows maybe maybe not um what else what else what else what else the axles i'm going to replace those all those type of stuff or whatever that this car's gonna need is gonna get replaced. Why? Because it's just, you know, the person that had it before me, I don't know what they did with it. And I, me, I, I'll rather do that just to be on the safe side. side. I don't ever have to worry about that type of situation. Oh, also to like me, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut off the T-piping from the coolant unit, right? So the T-piping is right in the back, um, all the way in the back of the motor. Um, it's actual an actual T pipeline. It's plastic. Them things are a headache. Um, 
once like you start running your car all day every day then things will start to overheat um, like the motor will overheat um, will heat up the t-pipe all right let's let me, let me say that again anytime that you're driving your car that t-pipe will start to get hot and it'll start to warp into a different you know into um, different ways and all that to where one of these days well it will just crack um, then you will start to leak fluid in the back and it'll it'll get everywhere like, like it, in the motor um, in, the, in the back end um, that happened to me with my V6 and um, I went and brought this uh, this metal from Home Depot or Lowe's um, it's a T-pipe it's a gold T-pipe I'm gonna cut that off because once that thing goes a replacement is like it's a hundred dollars just a hundred dollars I'm not gonna replace that with a piece another piece of plastic for a hundred bucks I'm not so what I did with my V6 is that I replaced it with a metal one and that will never ever in this whole entire life get destroyed or get damaged or anything like that so I'm gonna do the same thing with this one I brought it already but um, I'm gonna wait until later down the line to to uh, get everything together and oh shoot, there we go. get everything together and replace everything all at one time so that I don't have to worry about it um, but yeah there's a lot of things I want to I want to get done on this on this car so so uh, yeah it's just a matter of time Because um, winter is here, and I know this guy, this BMW is not trying to, bro. Your whole exhaust system is shaking, my man. That's all this thing is doing. Man. Boy, I'll go. But um, yeah, it's, it's all gonna take time. When is when is here? Um, I'm not gonna. I'm not going to rush uh, me putting any type of work on this car. It is cold. I don't need the headache and all that. So for right now, I'm just gonna take my lovely time doing what I gotta do. Um, putting small minds is what I'm gonna do. Putting you know big minds or whatever. It's gonna. It's gonna really have to wait. Like um, for right now, like the my hood. The hood on my car. The hood for my car, it's gonna have to wait. Why? Well, right now I don't have the money for it. Um, and I'm not gonna put it in because I don't have the the other um, the other exhaust system. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get an AFE cold air intake. Not exhaust system, wow, bruh. The cold air intake, there we go. The cold air intake, so I'm gonna buy a uh, right now I have a K&N colder intake high performance but I'm also going to replace that and get a AFE colder intake um, it looks like it's stocked like you, you got the whole factory and the only reason why I'm doing that is because I am I am replacing my, my red hood with a Hellcat hood and I do not need no water going into that I don't need water going into that cold air intake. I lose power and it's not good for the motor. All right. So um, now that I'm around here, I'm gonna start doing some down shifting.
side um, spots for it so it sits on the actual side of the car I take those out I have punch holes uh, from the what in the world oh hell no hold on y'all gotta look at this I guess this person did not know how to drive and he decided to go on the yo this is crazy yo I'm <laughs> yo this person is cooked I did not expect that at all, yo. That is funny as hell. Yo, look at this, bro. Boy. Anywho. Um, <laughs> yo, that's funny. But, uh, but yeah. I gotta get those, um, I would have to get those, you know, um, sealed and then repainted. I don't really want to do that. So I think what I'm going to do is, is I think I might just replace those with black ones or just get the whole, get that whole thing back there, get it wrapped. So let me know at the bottom too what you guys want me to do. I think replace it with black one or just wrap it. But um, I think I might, be, this might be it for my, for the day. I'm about to go get something to eat, and, uh, yeah, I'm going to hit you guys with the next one, so I'll see you guys later. Yeah.